This is Reverend Angela Palacios, and I'm reading to you from one of the minor prophets. This one is Zephaniah, and I'm reading Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 12. At that time, I will take a lamp and search Jerusalem. I will punish the people who are self-satisfied and complacent. Those who say to themselves, the Lord never does anything one way or another. Reading again from A Reflection a Day. And uh, this is what I write. There are those in each society and generation who feel complacent about displeasing God. Are you tempted to ignore God's word? And if so, in which areas of your life? There are times when we are caught up in whatever it is that we decide that we want. It's our will, it's our way, it's our choice, and we do as we please. But very often we discover that that is not necessarily the best way. It has not brought the best results and it has not developed character in the way that we can feel proud or pleased with ourselves. And so I want us to reflect as we get ready for a new month, to think of it as an opportunity to have a new beginning. What is it that is obviously an area of weakness for you? That you know, if you really are to be honest with yourself, that God could not possibly be pleased. Or it may not be major, but it definitely is a stumbling block to your witness. And only you can determine what it is. Only you can determine how seriously you want to change. And only you can determine what the new you is going to be and do. And so, I want you to be warned by Zephaniah that there comes a time, a day of reckoning, a time when we really recognize that pleasing God is the most important thing. So I want you not to waste your time doing things that will not bring you ultimate pleasure, will not bring you the, the joy that at the time seems to be um, so promised. And I want you to put pleasing God as your highest priority. You still have time. So why not use this day to get whatever area it is back on track? The choice is yours. I pray you make the right one. God bless you.